I'm here in Ireland for the WPT National and Party Poker Grand Prix Poker Tour. I'm joined by Party Poker Ambassador and Sponsored Pro, Tony Dunst. Hello, Tony. Hello, Michelle. Good to be here. Now, you're playing the WPT National today. We had to bring you mm -hmm. to the casino in style. So here we are on a horse and cart. Yeah, but I was kind of expecting this, this sort of pickup at the airport. I tell you what, if you win the tournament, we'll take you back to the airport. Okay, fair enough, cart. as long as I'm not in a rush. <laughs> As long as I got time on that flight. Now, um, you've played quite a few of these mm -hmm. types of tournaments, the WPT um, in particular. Kalani is stunning. It's one of the most visited tourist spots in Europe. Yeah. How does it fare? Well, in terms of you know natural beauty around the, the stop, it's pretty much unrivaled. A lot of casinos are in the center of a city or just kind of like right on the outskirts of a city. Whereas here in Killarney, we've got a, a town of 7,000 people that is really known for the nature and the, the flora and fauna around it, uh, the National Park and Ross Castle and everything. So if you want a stop where you get out of the casino and really see part of the country and countryside, this is it. Is this something you do a lot when you visit these events? Do you get out into your surroundings? Yeah, I really try to make a point to get out into whether it's the city, whether it's nature, or whatever's available at the stops we go to. Um, I think that you know, being professional poker players, or even as a you know a recreational player who wins a package somewhere, you're afforded such an amazing opportunity to learn about a new place, to discover a new culture, and so uh, I try and prioritize both getting out of the casino and going to places that I've never been before. You've played in these tournament types of tournaments mm -hmm. for a very long time now. You've been associated with party poker for mm -hmm. such a long time. What do you think it is that makes these events so desirable? Well, it's a combination of these, these great value tournaments. Party Poker has been really aggressive lately with putting guarantees on things. Um, we had a 250k guarantee on this main event, 250k guarantee on like a 109 Grand Prix event. Um, we have the Caribbean event coming up where Party Poker just doubled the guarantees on the events. Two months, two months out to their starting, uh, and that's pretty much unheard of. But on, on top of that, uh, I just love the the lifestyle aspect of being around the World Poker Tour and the Party Poker events, and getting to see so many new places. It's a fantastic atmosphere yeah. at these events, and you mentioned the uh, Grand Prix Poker Tour there. As a professional player, mm -hmm. do you have to switch your game up depending on what event you're playing? Because here we have a lot of rookie players, mm -hmm. because there's a smaller buy-in as well. Yeah, you most definitely have to alter your game. Um, you know, the patterns of a recreational player are very different from the patterns of a professional or even semi-professional player. And for the most part, the recreational players are more loose and more passive. You know, they're just, they're not as comfortable taking big risks the way professionals are. So in many cases, if you play a smaller buy-in event, if someone puts a whole lot of chips in the pot and they're representing a strong hand, they probably have it unless you've already seen them bluff too frequently before. So when I play those small buy-in events, I, I tend to believe people. I'm like, all right, you're making a big bet. I believe you, okay? Remember this, yeah. people. He will believe yeah, you I'm at the table. Yeah, you want to bluff me in a 109 <laughs> tournament? You're probably going to get away with it. Yeah. Um, well, I'm assuming you haven't turned up at many uh, tournaments in a horse and cart, but what is your, you, do you have mm -hmm. a regime you do before games? Do you have to psych yourself out? Do you meditate? Do you just rock up? Do you go drinking the night before? What's the key to a professional player? Uh, I try to get some exercise during that stop. So we have a pretty good gym here over at the Glen Eagle Hotel and Apartments. And uh, I got in there yesterday and did my time. And then I just try and get some sleep the night before I play any big event or I make a day two or something. Um, I'm, a, I'm a big believer in sleep. I think it's very underrated, and especially among poker players, I think it's very <laughs> underrated. And I try and get my eight hours before I have to play, you know, like a 12-hour day of poker. Face mask. Face mask? Yeah. Do, do I have a sleeping <laughs> face mask, or is that a tip from you That's to me? That's my tip to okay. you, yeah, to look your best. Okay, <laughs> pointing out the, the bags under my eyes. Thank you, Michelle. I appreciate that. Okay, so all of our players out there, that maybe this is their first time out at one mm -hmm. of these events, there's a lot of qualifiers. They could have, Some of them have qualified yep. from just one cent online at Party Poker. I know you're playing them, but mm -hmm. let's be nice. Okay. Give them a tip. Give them a tip for something like today. Um, I would say understand what your priority is in the tournament. If your priority is to come here and to, and to sneak into the money or something, then unlike uh, day two, you should play a pretty risk averse strategy. You should only be putting most of your stack in with good hands, and if anything, you should be trying to knock other people out pre-flop by making big all-ins. Whereas if your goal is to win the tournament, then you should be playing an awful lot of hands, you should be playing some subpar hands, you should be the one applying pressure to other people on the bubble, and that might increase the likelihood that you bubble the tournament and you walk away with nothing, but it'll also increase the likelihood that you accumulate a big stack and can make a run at the final table. Well, there you have it from the horse's mouth.
excuse the pun. Tony, thank you very much. Um, I think you're driving on the way back, if that's okay. Yeah, I think I can manage. <laughs> I'll get off. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you very much and best of luck today. Thank you. Thank you.